This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the US Japan Sports Car Championship. Japanese and American cars meet head on. So we have several nations races here. Basically Japan versus US, Japan versus UK, and US versus UK. And they all have the same five races, same payouts, all different prize cars. And I'm not gonna go through all of them individually, but basically million to win, 2 million for the championship, pole position, which doesn't matter, 300,000. Trial Mountain Reverse, Special Stage Route 5, High Speed Ring, Grand Valley East Reverse, and Special Stage Route 11 are all five races for all three of the Nations Cup races, I guess. I'm using Nations Cup because, uh, literally, GT Sport. So I'm going to be using the uh, Terreno that we won in the um, Hartooned World Speed Contest, I think it's called. Because, let's look at the racing modification. It's freaking gorgeous. Oh, that's right. In the Japanese version, they force you to actually use uh, weight reduction first. Whereas in the US version, you can just straight up go and um, just drop the weight already. We're painting it pink. Oh, so basically just like a facelift and all that. Facelift, rear lift. So yeah, um, obviously we ain't losing weight here. <laughs> Well, we just did, Ender. <laughs> America. Well, we're representing Japan, dude. Don't forget we're representing Japan, so therefore we have to lose weight. I just realized, too, uh, what American car are we going to use? Because the idea is use one Japanese car, use one American car, and then use one... Um, what's it called? Um... One English car, of course. Nick, um, the pink and green that you saw is not even the original color schemes. It's only available on this particular model because it's the prize car that you get from the hard-tuned World Speed Contest, whatever the hell it's called. So, our car's gonna be severely underpowered, so I'm going full softs. Soft tires all the way. And let's go ahead and upgrade the transmission. We're spending a fuck ton of money on this car but that's a-okay -okay with me we're gonna get some of that money back hopefully all of it or not all the money back but at least like a majority uh, all the money we can get possible yeah i'll show you right now nick real quick i'll literally buy the terreno if it's if it's in the used car dealership i don't give a shit it's dirt cheap that's the 11 it is not here so um you'll have to see it later Good luck with that one Mazda. Thanks, my dude. Alrighty. Well... Well, because I spent all my money tuning the Terreno... Actually... Hold on a second. No. No, 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 no. No. I'm not gonna cut that out. You know why? We can use the Terreno for the US-UK showdown. I reckon the car will have a much better shot there because, yes. So, let's go ahead and spend all our money again, this time on an American car. Um, I guess the fucking Viper. The RT-10, why not? It has a really cool racing mod and I like it a lot. There goes all our cash, but you know what? We don't really need to do too much tuning to this car. Yeah, Ford's not in this game. I really like this uh, racing livery a lot. I'm gonna get it in yellow. It looks really nice in yellow. So I'm just gonna slap softs. The old rent -a car livery, yep. Can I put a turbo? No, duh, it's a fucking Viper, I can't. I will put a sports transmission. I guess single clutch. Racing flywheel. And of course the drive shaft. Okay, let's go ahead and give this another go. This is... I never bought a suspension, so maybe this thing will bounce around a lot. Who knows? But, uh... Eh, <laughs> I'm kind of cheap right now, given the fact that I spent all my damn money on this one car. 
Okay, there's an even split this time around of American and uh, Japanese cards, which is cool. Yeah, it sucks because in GT2, they got rid of one of the liveries. I can't remember if it's the yellow or the red one. I think it's the yellow one they got rid of. All right, here we go. Race number one of uh, this championship. I know I used the RT-10 before in the original playthrough, but eh, it's not. this one's not racing modded. And plus, I already used the Corvette and a Camaro. So there's really nothing else we can use. Like, technically, we can use a GTS, but no. The yellow one got rejected, which is a shame, because it's the best-looking one, in my opinion. Because I actually like yellow. It's my favorite color. Yeah, okay, yeah, this thing can fight. This thing can fight the Impreza. Nice. On the straightaway, we get eaten alive up until he hits the rev limiter, and then that's when we can just go for an overtake like right now. Oh! Okay. He's trying to go for a... Uh, trying to go for a punt. All right, cool. Yellow was your... Okay. Well, I've always liked yellow. Yes. Reject mustard and embrace ketchup. Oh, fuck. Car just took a nosedive. But it's all good. We're still in it. So yeah, this thing might be a bit OP. I might actually remove the stage one um, uh, tuning kit just to even it out a bit because I think the soft tires might be overkill, but that's okay. Okay, where the hell is he? Okay, there he is. What? What are you thinking? Oh my god! Is I didn't know that was a thing, Thunder. I'm talking about the Game Shark code. Oh god, dude! Arcade mode physics with that Trueno in particular, dude. You're asking. You're asking for a death wish at that point. Like, with. Actually, wait, J no, Japan versus UK. Oh, no, 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 no. We... Actually, no, Japan versus UK will be the same shit. I think, in general, we're just screwed. We can't use the Trano, period. Which, who knows? Actually, never say never. We might be able to use it for the Endurances, because I just remembered something. Oh, that could be, yeah, just get like the, get like the 1000 horsepower GTOs and then put the arcade mode physics and then use the arcade mode jumps. Oh my God, that would, that'd be pretty funny. Um, what I'm thinking is, uh, pretty much like, use the Torino for the first SSR 11 race or the Grand Valley 300. Why? Because I remember somebody told me, I think it was Sky Hurricane, somebody told me that Tire wear doesn't really matter in this game with in terms of what compound you use. Even soft tires will last as long as hard tires. You have to search for it. Got it. That'd be interesting to see. Poor concept car. All the way in the back. Didn't even get a chance to finish before the game went to the to the point screen. What a shame. So anyways, we're leading the championship. Very nice. I might actually just sell the Viper after we're done. Oh my god, yeah. We had no money whatsoever afterwards. Jesus. Yeah, I'm selling the Viper when we're done with this because, uh... Fuck. <laughs> we're broke. <laughs> All bad. 
So, uh, where is it? Oh, okay. I was on the wrong screen. I'm dumb. Hey, it's just like real life racing, isn't it, Nick? Race cars are expensive, like that one post you said. That's it. Just race cars are expensive. Racing is too damn expensive, which is why we do it virtually. Okay, how much of a difference will this make is the question here. Of course, the concept car is just really slow. We're still grippy as fuck because of the soft tires. I, I don't know. Maybe I'd remove... Oh! Oh, I just realized something. There's a strat that Rhino does. I remember now. I remember now. He increases the downforce all the way because this game does not account for drag. Downforce will just give you infinite amounts of grip in the corners. So yeah, we're, we'll, we'll probably use the Trano for one of the endurances. Maybe. We'll see. All the handling, yeah. I should have just done that to begin with. God damn it. I'm an idiot. I forgot all about that. See, it's been a while since I played this damn game. Last time I played it was whenever I streamed it last. So that was like December? Yeah, December, I think. Or maybe the weekend of New Year's? Like like a couple days after? I don't remember. I have to literally check like my video folder. Because I still have to edit some of those for YouTube. Yeah, soft tires are... The car is still massively OP. I think what helped us out too is just the fact that we had the really long straightaway. And uh, the Impreza obviously topping out at 160 miles an hour. Just, it, it won't go anywhere. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, cool. So, um, I will stream tomorrow as well, just an FYI. I'll, I'll be doing the um, FIA Nations Cup race, which will be go-kart, um, in GT Sport, which will be go-karts at Red Bull Ring Short. My boy, Mr. MCA, did, um, he did his lap guide for it, and I watched it. And uh, there's no tire wear or no fuel wear, so I don't really need any practice. Maybe just like 10 minutes. It's still, I'm, I'm still, I'm still toying with the idea. But, um, yeah, like, I, I think I will be streaming tomorrow as well. We'll see. God damn, I'm, I'm one, well, I, I was gonna say I'm one slidey boy, but it was just in the hair, but I think I got into, like, into the gray a little bit. But um, yeah, I I actually do need to ha to do some of the round. Actually, yeah, I do need to do some of the rounds for FIA. Like at least what two or whatever the minimum is for nations, because I do need to get that S rating for the official season whenever the whenever it starts. Because it's going to start what late April, somewhere around there. So like, why not prepare myself? In case I do want to do some of the rounds. We'll see. Moral cheerleading. Fuck yeah. That's right. You won't be racing with me, sadly. It's only manufacturers. Dude, I've been watching...
wine beer you mean you mean drunk <laughs> yes arthur actually do things what like stream stuff oh re-sign with mitsubishi okay so look um b racer or valerio he signed with mitsubishi did he do it as a joke or did he do it because because he actually legitimately thinks the car is good sleep more got it as a joke oh, okay yeah if i if i sign up with mitsubishi as a joke and i do like the last slots then I could, you know, I could probably get an S rating, an easy one. Yes, Ender. It's stupid. It is such a stupid thing. Yo, what's up, Mikhail? It is so dumb, dude. Like, if you don't run the exhibition, you can't get an S rating for the official season. Which doesn't make sense, because it's like, it's an exhibition. It's not counting for anything real. It's not counting for, like, a spot on the world tour or for anything like that. So, like, why the fuck do we have to run this? I don't get it. Which is why I don't take Gran Turismo too seriously. Like, yeah, I, I play competitively and everything, but I don't take it way too seriously for that reason and just, eh. I only care about the one make series and that's it. Decent enough group four car. Uh, Arthur, do you have any recommendations? I don't know anything about the new BOP. Other than Mazda is stupidly OP now. Like Mazda is the meta of group three. Because title sponsor. Oh yeah, I think Cyrus is driving for Jag. Okay, so last the best, Audi, Dodge, Citroen, Honda, Renault, and Peugeot. Hmm. So from last, so from last the best. So Audi's the worst right now because of, because they really nerfed the TT, huh? <laughs> they killed, they killed the, the, the titty cup. Which understandably so, because that core is like, dude, that core literally, okay. I remember when everyone thought that, um, what's it called? Um, it's bad? Oh god. Ford, Mitsubishi, Alfa Romeo, Volkswagen, and Ferrari. Well, Ferrari's for sure a no-go because I know, um, Adventure and, um, PX Cam are both challenging each other with Ferrari to see who's the best content creator in the region. So that's two, that's, uh, two slots. That's two slots I can't afford. <laughs> Just for that reason. Like, uh, no. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, I mean... I could, you know, I could probably beat them. But the, the point is, I want to choose a crappy manufacturer only for the fact that I want to get an easy S rating just to be the only good guy there. Oh, dude. Okay. I'll be honest with you. That Groove 4 race does not sound too bad. It doesn't really sound too bad in my eyes. Or in, it, to my ears, really. It's just the fact that we have the... Um, the Groove 3 tire saving, fuel saving, with 10 times wear, mandating all three compounds. That is... That is ridiculous, dude. That's just suicide. No thanks. I was watching PX7 Grove... Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, Grove Street Racing. That's what he's called now. I was watching him race, and I was watching Cyrus race, and I was like, why the fuck are you guys doing this? This looks... This just does not look fun.
Like, yes, it's an exhibition season. Like, okay, sure, like... There are going to be some races where they're going to be fuel and they're going to be mileage races and management races and all. But, dude, I don't want to do that if I'm not going to have fun playing it. Like, like if an exhibition, the idea of an exhibition, in my opinion, is supposed to be fun and wacky, which is why we had all like the the group X combos or the route X race, which wasn't really fun because they fucked the slipstream up. Audi, Renault, Mitsubishi, Volkswagen, Citroen, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Alfa Romeo, Lamborghini, and Dodge. Well... Shit. Now that leads me to the question of... I need to look at the schedule first and foremost. Honestly, with Nations, I could probably get... Here's the thing. I like the go-kart race, and I like especially the Blue Moon Group 1 race. Those can be easy um, easy S ratings, in all honesty. Man, you could be another easy one. See, the nice thing is that I have to remember... I have to keep reminding myself that it's no longer North America. It's the Americas for manufacturers. So it's not like I'm going to race like idiots like Mad Knight Mopar in the last slot. I'll race a bunch of people who are like 60,000 DR. Pump the D Yeah, definitely. Okay, but you know what the crazy thing is too, show? If I get back into GT and I, I do Manu, here's the thing. I'm probably going to end up in the same position that I was last year, which is I'm probably going to get up to 75 or 80k. And then I'm just going to be running in the back of the pack in Manu all the time, which will be fine in second or top split. Because I guarantee you, I can be I can beat a lot of the CSA guys in, with the, with 60k. You and I can beat a lot of the CSA guys with 60k, dude. Now that it's in that now that's the combined region, it'll be more people in our in like our class of driver, I guess. And um, yeah, like the thing is that you got your ass handed to you by like Bonelli and them. I got my ass handed to me by Lamb and and the rest of them. So like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's the way I look at it. If that makes any sense. If that logic makes any kind of sense, then, um, yeah, um, 64k, yeah, yeah, we'll be in the same split. That's what I'm saying, like, if we do Manu together, like, once I'm, once I get this fucking semester out the way, oh, I'm doing a summer class, by the way, but the summer class that I'm doing is, um, it's gonna be no Zoom meetings, and, uh, the professor is super cool as fuck, and he does open everything. And he, and he he's like the best, one of the best professors I've ever had, so I'm not tripping too much. And it's not a theory class, it's a class about uh, pop culture or something. Anyways, back to the point. Um, yeah, it's a very laid back course. Yeah, exactly, so I'm not going to be tripping about it too much. Um, Arthur, you and I can easily get up to 75, 80k. We have what it takes. Maybe we won't be able to beat Benelli or Lamb or like... Um, art from P-Tech. Maybe not, but we can get close. Because we have to remind ourselves that now we're going to be, um... We're going to be within our, our same skill set, I guess. And if we were already punching above our weight class, then this would be no problem. That's my point here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Also, it would be nice, too, if I wanted OP Group 3. Huh. Who's driving for Chevrolet? Isn't Rush driving for Chevrolet? Hmm. Yeah, Thonk indeed. I gotta think about this one. I gotta do the big heckin' think. Uh, am I dropping frames? I think I just dropped a bunch of frames there. Did the screen freeze on your guys' end? Because I looked at OBS and, um, it was completely frozen. Oh my god. It doesn't even say I had dropped frames. Ah, it's so dumb. For a brief period, got it. Whoops, smacked the wall. I'm not running anything else in the background. So I wonder what the hell's going on. Russia Chevy. 
Got it. Also, hey, Wesley, how's it going? Your text is green on your name, so I thought you were Ender. <laughs> Only in group three, got it. Oh, whoops. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk more about it, Tusho. We'll talk more about it later. But, um, yeah, I'm just excited that it's combined only because, uh, yeah, it was, it is GT Sport related because, um, we play GT Sport competitively, me and DNA Tusho in chat. But, um, yes, uh, we can discuss tomorrow. Got it. But yeah, my plan for tomorrow is literally, like, I work today so I could stream tonight. And then, um, tomorrow I'm just going to do some, um, le I'm, like, the nice thing is that I have lectures and quizzes due on, like, Thursday. But because I'm on time and ahead in some classes, I'm literally just going to do them all tomorrow morning. So I can do the FIA race. And then we can chat about ma the menus and stuff. Whatever we need to talk about. Toyota? Hmm. Okay. If I, if you choose Toyota for me, I want to drive the Gears Mobile. Gears, if you're still here, I want to drive your car. <laughs> that is the only way I will sign for Toyota. I will I will drive the the Nene Mobile. Which I still need to hire somebody, either Lefty or Max, to um to make their own rendition of the Nene Mobile in iRacing on the NASCAR Xfinity Supra. The Corvette with a heckin' big break in a corner where you don't really break. But yeah, again, like it's the thing. Like, I'm still gonna take the same approach. Like, yeah, I honestly, dude, when I'm when I'm done with with this semester, Arthur, like, I do want to play competitively. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not, and I I want to like step my game up for sure. But I do not. Oh, your public account? What on Twitter? Ooh, nice. Oh, someone really. Let's go. That that's sick as fuck, uh, Nick. That I actually would like to see. Do you have any pictures? Oh, is the Toyota's dog shit? Is the Toyota dog shit or it's just hmm? Or is it? I don't know. Like, apart from Mazda, I legit don't know what the meta is in Manu anymore. I, I, like, the BOP changes recently, I have no idea what's good. Oh, okay. Got it. Send me pics? Yes. Is that? I would like to see. And there we go. Championship done. Complete. First of the three Nations Cups. Clean sweep. The Viper was massively OP, but that's okay. We're going to sell it, get our money back, be as much money as we can back, because, my God, we spent so much fucking cash on this car. And on the Trano, but I think the Trano will pay off. I think. If our strat works out. But. But. Depends on the price card, too, because 2 million credits, championship trophy, and get the new machine. What do we get? Hopefully not a Viper GTSR, because we already had one in the, pr in the original playthrough, and I used it. Hopefully we get the other prize, which I forget what it is. God damn it. That's fine. Oh well. It's a nice car. I love the GTSR, but I didn't really want this. Okay, that's fine. One one order of business. We need to get our money back. A little bit less than I really want, but you know what? That's fine. You know what? We can actually just start getting rid of cars now before uh, we move on. I guess I'll go ahead and include this into the recording, because why not? 
Just be because I know I'm gonna get, I'm still gonna get comments from people and be like, how did you get so much money in that short amount of time? Well, this is your answer. It is. It is, without a doubt. But given the fact that I do not want to use it, because we already used it, I'm good. Uh Mitsubishi, there it is. Oh, I think we used 11 for... Oh, we used it for the... Dude, I don't remember what cars we used. I think we used this one for the lightweight regional car. Yeah, I know all the regionals have two prize cars, but I just didn't remember which... I don't remember what the second one was for... Um, what's it called? Uh, for the US versus Japan. You can tell me. I legit... I'm shooting blanks here. I cannot remember what it was. That's a prize. That is not a prize. FTO! Yes! How can I forget? That's one of, like, the best cars in the game, just aesthetically, of course. I forgot I had the Cerbera. The Cerbera... Oh, yeah, yeah, the Celadi. That is another one that, um... Oh! Okay, we're saving the Celadi. I know what we're using it for. Are you, I, I know what we're using the Celadi for. For the endurances. For the uh, second uh, SSR, SSRX, SSR 11 race. Okay, all the cars sold. We got a pretty decent amount of money back. And uh, time for the next Nations race.